Hello. This is Jessica with Heart and Grit Designs and Magnolia Design Company. And I just got my shipment in today from my craft club, so I am super excited. And I did say that I was going to come on here and every month when the craft club comes in, I will go live and do the craft that comes in the box in the happy mail. Okay? That's what we're going to do. So, if you're new and you haven't watched any of my videos before, I use a lot of Magnolia Design Company stencils. It makes my life a whole lot easier when it comes to creating things. I absolutely love the versatility of the stencils. If you have not seen the, the link to my shop, I will post it at the top of this. It is also posted at the top of my page. Um, if you could sprinkle this video so that we can get this craft club kit out there, so that everyone can see all the goodies that we get. So if you're just joining me, hello, say hi in the comments so I can see your hair. <laughs> all right, so I have not actually opened this yet. Um, I did, you know, take, did take a little tape off and I also took my sticker off as well that has my address on it, <clears throat> but I'm excited. So, so every month I'll come on here if you want to come on here and do the craft with me while I'm doing it too, hey, that's even better. So, I forgot some tape here. And if you need more information on the craft club and what it is, definitely send me a direct message and I will be happy to answer those questions for you. Okay. All right. So, let's throw this. All right. So we have a bag of goodies. What is in this? All right, this is my, my information. Oh my goodness. Okay, how to complete your project. So it also comes with a printout to show you how to do it. Okay, so all this is, so start to finish printout of this. That is absolutely awesome. I did not expect this to come in there, so that is awesome. Okay, so this month's craft club was geared towards Halloween. And we you get an eight and a half by 11 of 12 different stencils. This is awesome. I've made ornaments, I've made coasters, I've put these on glasses, I've put these on anything and everything that I can <laughs> because I love them so much. So you get 12 mini stencils. Okay. And that is awesome. But I've already, I already have one of these. So I'm going to set this one to the side and I'm going to use my one, um, that I have already opened up and used because I'm going to use this for my craft show vendor show this Sunday. So I'm going to put this one to the side and use it for this weekend, but I am going to use all of the same stencils so that you can see what you can do. All right, so this box is done. Hello, if you're just joining me, say hi. <laughs> All right, so you get jute string in there, okay? That, that's a lot of jute string. That is a great amount of jute string. Look how much jute string you get. Okay, I always need some jute string. Okay, so this round here, this is you get one round so that you can complete one project. It already comes with um, a string on it, which is fine because you could use it just like this, stencil right on this and on the back if you want, front and back. I've done some ornaments that have front and back. Then, um, you, you could just be done, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it. Okay. Awesome sauce. You get a sample pack of coal black chalk paste, and you also get the orange tiger. Very fitting for Halloween stencils. 
I think. And you get a squeegee. Can never have too many squeegees. My arsenal of squeegees, I have about 15 to 20. They're not all green, but still, hey, it's a squeegee. It works. <laughs> okay. I was going to dump all these out. Let me put them, these in a smaller bag. So, I have a bunch of beads. Wooden beads. Those are nice. And those, some of these are already painted. So, they're painted orange. I mean, that's less work that I have to do. Because I would totally have painted these beads. Some of them, at least. That work's already done for me. So, look at, look at that. That's a lot of beads. That's actually enough that I could make about seven or eight with this if I have short, what I'm going to show you. Because, again, they show you on here how to do it. So, you can make your string shorter than this, okay? Shorter than this, and you can get more little tassel thingies. I don't even know what they're called. Sorry about this paint on my arm. I've been working. I've been trying to fix... <clears throat> get things settled up for the craft show this weekend and so I am totally finishing things up so I cannot see any comments so if you're asking questions and I'm sorry if I don't see them I will go back and I definitely will answer your questions but at this moment I cannot see comments yet so okay first I'm going to start off and I'm going to take this off because I'm not going to use this but I am going to save it I save everything <laughs> I have a whole um, thing of remnants that I actually cut too short. Go figure. So, I saved them. I'm going to use them for tags. I could possibly use them for something else too, but I'm going to use them for tags. So, here's the one round. Oh, and I'm going to show you real quick. I got these on Amazon. A thousand different size beads. For $15, I do believe. That's a lot of beads. These are the beads that you can paint yourself. And I'll probably come on here. I may not do it today and show you an, a quick and easy way to paint those beads. Because we all know that that's probably going to be a little bit of a mess. But not this way. Alright, so I'm going to show you something else. Shoot. Okay. I forgot. Um, I bought some more rounds. Let me go get them real quick. I already put them away. I'm sorry. Here comes my cat. Just so you know. There goes his bum. He likes my warm seat. Do you see his bum? <laughs> sorry. Okay. So I also bought these so that I could finish. I got these for $15 as well on Amazon, three inch rounds. Okay, they're not as thick as this, but you can get these on Amazon. The jute string is giving me a, it's just about the same size. Jute string is giving me some tickles in my nose. So I'm gonna put this to the side so you get one thing to be able to complete a whole thing in your box, right out the box. Just giving you ideas if you want to do more. Because our stencils, you can reuse over and over again. And I'm going to show you why. Look, it, I, I'm telling you, I've used these things so many times. And they are stained. You know, it happens. But they work. And that's all that matters. They work. I've loved these very very much <laughs> because I've used them on everything like I've inked with them I've talked with them I've even accidentally wrinkled them and they still work so I'm really happy about that <laughs> because if I do it with my Cricut I'm I'm getting one use out of it and it's going in the garbage not these mm -mm. no they're not okay so I'm gonna go ahead and open this I think I'm going to do, I want to do the boo. Okay, I want to do this boo. <clears throat> so, I'm going to, here. 
I'm gonna put you down a little bit. My table's a little messy. I've been working all day, all day today. I didn't work my physical job today, but I'm working at home. So, same thing, both make money. I just prefer one over the other. I mean, I get paid to clean, but I like this. I like this. I wanna get paid to craft. Okay, so since that I have loved my stencils a lot, I'm not going to, um, to, it's still got sticky on, you can hear it. I'm not going to, to, um, fuzz this, but I'll, I'll fuzz it one time and show you just in case you don't know what that is. Okay. So you take your little fuzzing cloth or a like cloth or even this sweatshirt would work. Okay. You just take it, do it a couple times. One, I like one, two, three, two and three. That's what you would do, okay, to fuzz it. On any hard surface, you don't have to do it on, um, if you're going to ink on a t-shirt or a pot holder or, you know, anything like that. You don't need to fuzz for that. Only hard surfaces. And the slicker the surface, the more you want to fuzz this because if not, it will roll like this, <laughs> but it will still work. <laughs> My poor boo. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to line this up with the hole here. You see the hole? I'm going to line that up with the hole so that it's straight. And I'm going to do orange and black. Because that's what they gave me. And I'm going to use what comes in the kit. So, alright, that's pretty lined up. Press it down. Make sure there's no bubbles, especially in between your wording, your wording or your image or whatever's on there. If it's just, you know, so there, no bubbles. Some people use their squeegee. I wouldn't use my squeegee to do that because you can't feel if there's any, um, any bubbles in there. So do it with your hands. That's what I would do. Okay, so I'm going to... I should have a little tray for this, but I don't. You might want to get you a little paint tray. And get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I'm just gonna put it right on my desk. But that's because I have glass. So if you have wood, don't do that. <laughs> it might have come off. So, I should have cut this too. My hands work faster than my brain does, okay? Okay, so, yeah, all right. I'm just gonna open up the orange for now because I don't want the black to dry up. So I'm gonna put just a tiny, tiny bit out on my desk here. I'm gonna put this to the side. <clears throat> okay, where's my squeegee? All right, and I just picked up a small amount, very small, very small. And I'm not going to get the two little lines up underneath of here because those are going to be black. So I'm going to take this orange. I could have did some green on the stems, which is probably going to bother me because I didn't. But you won't have green right out the box. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But your next kit, you may. Definitely. The next kit's going to be awesome. I don't know why my cat's doing what he's doing. He's being weird. Okay. It's sticking to my fingers here. Okay. And take the excess off. Okay. Try not to get into the B because I want that to be black. Okay. You definitely can save this. Okay. That's where putting a tiny, tiny bit into a container comes in handy because you don't have to fool with it like this. So I'm going to open this up just a tiny bit and I'm going to scrape that back in there because I'm going to use it again. 
no sense in wasting my chalk paste. Okay. Yeah, try to figure out how to do this. I've not used these before. <laughs> Can you tell? <laughs> Can you tell I've not used them before? I can't. I can't tell I haven't used them before. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna push this chalk paste down in here because I'm gonna show you how to close it too so that you can keep it and save it. That's most important, even though I've got some squeezing out of there. All right. Maybe that's why I should have only did a snippet of the corner. That's what we'll do on the black. We'll do a snippet of the corner and that's it. I lost a lot of paste. I'm gonna get some tape. My tape is put away too. Tape it up. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm getting ready for a show. So I've got everything that I would possibly need in my totes right now and ready to go and walk out the door tomorrow so that that's all I have to do. My brother is going to come and help me and I'm super excited about that. Okay. I've talked too long and fooled with that too long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this up for a second. I'm not going to pull the whole thing off because I need to keep my placement. But I don't want my chalk paste to dry in my screen. <laughs> so, I'm going to blow on a little bit. I was talking too much. That's what happens, huh? I was thirsty. Okay. Okay. It's good enough. And then I'm going to place these little underscore looking things back down. Make sure there's no bubbles in those. Okay. Make sure my bee didn't come up any. It did a tiny bit. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I checked that out. Because my chalk paste would have went up underneath of there and then I'd been saying it. So I'm not going to worry too much about what that's doing over there. Alright, I'm going to push, push this down. Because I just learned the hard way. I'm going to take a tiny snip bit of the corner, okay? I've got orange paint all over my hands. Tiny snip bit. Is that even a word? Set that to the side. I'm going to wipe this off. Actually, I have a little water bath right here. Just a tiny cup of water. And I'm going to wipe it off. Get that chalk paste off there. Okay. this in here. I have too much on my squeegee right now. I act like I don't know what I'm doing. And that's okay. Right? Alright. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness. And we are going to be done and staying, you know, in the green, okay? <clears throat> That's cute. Boo! Okay. Now I'm going to put this in that water bath. Just to kind of get that off. I need to do like this. Um, I saw, um... My upline, she had a cute little cup. I was watching her, and she had a cute little cup that she was doing, cleaning off her stencils in. So I'm going to do it too. <laughs> it's so cute. I need a cute little bucket, don't I? <laughs> Hello. Okay. I got most of it off. I'll get the, get the rest of it off here in a minute. Just wanted to get that out of the screen. 
that's my major concern. I'm just going to use my shirt. <laughs> you know what? We'll do the back and I want to show you something cool. I'm going to blow on this. Let it draw some more. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to set that to the side. We're going to work on this jute string. Okay. I want mine to be long. All right. Not super long, but I want it to be long. How long do I want it to be? Nope, that's too long. I think I want it to be about, mm, about this long. I would say that's about six inches. I'm gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna go through, through this hole. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here with both of them. I'm gonna go through it with both of them. I'm gonna take it and put it through there like that. Cause I want it to look like that. You see the front there? <clears throat> okay. Now I'm gonna get some beads. My handy dandy baits. Okay. Let me see. Let me see this. All right. So I'm going to start with an orange. And I'm going to shove both of the beads. Both through here. is I think I need the tape. I do need the tape. Because I'm going to spend my whole time twisting these beads. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do two orange and then one um, one of these. Okay. <clears throat> I should get my tape. It'd be easier if you do this double, get you some tape and put it on the end. I don't want to get up again. Okay. I'm going to twist it. Yep, that worked. Twisting it through there worked. Um, no, I want two of each. Twisting it through there in the direction that, that you twisted it to start it works better. Boom. Now I'm going to do one and then I think I'm going to do two. I can't make up my mind. Because as I'm looking at it, my feelings about it changes. <clears throat> and that'll happen. That'll happen. You'll be mid-project, and you're like, oh, I'm going to try this. <laughs> That's what happens. It's happy little accidents. That's how that happens. All right. And then now I'm going to do, well, I'm probably only going to be able to get, look, this is what I got now. And then I'm gonna do the other side. So, I'm not gonna tie this off yet because I'm going to use some more of this jute string and I'm gonna make a little tassel. 
So I want my tassel to be about, let's see. I don't want it to be super longer than that. It's gonna look silly. So about that long. So I'm going to wrap this like this and keep going. That's a lot of string. I'm super excited about this. That tassel's gonna be so tiny. Cause I'm just gonna fold it in half. Yep. Different direction, it's not long enough. Let's see. Fold it in half again. So I'm gonna do this another six inches. <laughs> You don't have to have this much tassel if you don't want this much tassel. You really don't. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold this right here. I'm gonna take another little piece. And then I'm gonna tie it around the center. Like directly in the center. Okay. I'm going to cut these ends off. <clears throat> Don't want to cut my finger off. I've actually done that before. I've accidentally snipped my finger. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the ends off here. I accidentally snipped my finger one day when I used to work at a warehouse and we used to wrap gifts and I wasn't paying attention and I straight snipped my finger off just it was horrible I'm gonna stop talking about that now all right so I'm just cutting all these at once you can cut them individually if you want easier. I do everything the hard way. Now it's not center, but look, I can move it. Okay. See my little tassel? My little tassel? Okay. Now, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna attach this. I think I'm gonna do it just like this. I could have saved my string and just, yeah. Saved my other piece of string and just tied it like that. Oh, well. <laughs> All right, I could have. All right, now I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna cut this off again, because I don't need that. All right. This is gonna make count. Now, I will need another piece of string. And I'm gonna cut a pretty good amount off. I would say that's probably about eight or nine inches. I would say. Hello. How are you? We are crafting with the Magnolia Design Company Craft Club this evening. We're putting on a tassel right now. I'm gonna wrap this around here. 
the best way possible. I'm going to try to wrap it until it gets all the way to the back, or at least halfway to the back. Okay, so can you see that? See what I did? I just kind of wrap that around there. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to use, I'm going to have to use, I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue gun. So if you've got a glue gun, a hot glue gun, you can use it too. That's something some people have at home. So I'm wondering. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So that's just going to kind of like fall, you know, kind of like that. And look, I'm unraveling my stuff over here playing around. <laughs> so, I'm waiting on my glue gun to heat up just a tiny bit. <clears throat> so, this is what we've got so far, and I'm actually going to do the back as an image on the back as well and show you what we can do with that, how you can use your chalk paste um, in a different way. That's always fun. So we can start on that. That's just got a few seconds. That's a battery-operated one. Well, not battery-operated. It's... um. Rechargeable. I got it on Amazon. It's ready. See how quick that was? Look. It's green. It's green. It's telling me it's ready. Okay. So I'm going to put this back here. Just a tiny bit. Okay. Not a lot. You don't need a lot. Okay. So that's gonna dry, and then I'm gonna snip this off up here. This excess, I'm gonna snip it. Gone. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, and this would just, you know, you could just lay this on your, probably could have used, maybe left a little extra string so that it can just flop. Hi, Grace, how are you? We are making the, um, my craft club came in today. So that's what we're doing. We're making little tassels. All right. So now that I've done that, I'm going to do this image. I'm going to do an image on the back as well. All right. <laughs> I'll probably go to, I should probably should have waited on this. I am good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And what I'm doing is, is I'm just going to take my chalk paste and straight wipe it on the back. I am doing really good. I'm getting ready for a craft show. So, I have been doing that, like, all day long. Um, so, yeah. I'll off at my one job to do my second job. This is my second job. I never thought that crafting would be my second job, but hey, dreams do come true. It's Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. And this one's the big one. This one's one that's, that was actually um, advertised as a vendor event. So the last one that I did was actually... Um, advertised as a um as a yard sale and it's it still turned out great you know you're right it's not a job when you love it i i do i i love to craft so much um that you know and and honestly you know with magnolia <coughs> de design company stencils has made my life a lot easier when it comes to my crafting especially when it comes to what i want to do 
um, because they have so many stencils. I'm just, if you all notice, I was trying to uh, keep that uh, brown edge, but I'm not going to no more. I've, I've jumped ship real quick. <laughs> See how quick I jumped ship? And I probably should have done this before we put the tassel on, but my ADHD brain got ahead of me. So, you know, we're here. This is where we are, and this is what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, so Magnolia stencils makes my job a lot easier when it comes to crafting. It most definitely does. Um because I don't have to design anything on the Cricut machine. I don't have to weed it out. I don't have to, um, I don't have to cut. I don't have to buy product for that. You know, I have my chalk paste and my ink and I'm good to go. You know, I spend more time thinking of what I'm gonna do with my designs, you know, than in preparing it than, than anything. So it didn't take long for that to, look, I've made a mess. I even got this on the front. That's what I get. I'm not paying attention. I do have a paintbrush squeegee. I have a bunch of them. I'll use this one. Thanks. <laughs> I was struggling again. You always come in at the right times when I'm struggling and you come in with your smartness <laughs> that I should have already been thinking about. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> that worked. Thank you. <laughs> so great. Yeah. You always come in at the right time. Instead of saved by the bell, it's saved by grace. There you go. I, that's, you know what? That has so many meanings. It's also yours now. <laughs> Save, saved by grace. Yes, it is a different point of view. Yeah, very true. I'm in the moment. And I got a little bit of black on the front while trying to fool with this. You can clean the sides with a wipe or wet paper towel. All right. I will do it. I will do it. Because, yeah, I even got it on my beads. Playing around. Okay. Well... that dry. I made a mess, a, bit, a bigger mess because it was all over my hands. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to do a different stencil now. I'm really going to have to fuzz this like a lot because I'm fixing to put this over chalk and I may pull it up. But you can do this, you could have painted that with paint. So I am gonna fuzz this. And I'm not gonna press too hard. I'm only gonna press where my image is. My cat's over there sulking because he can't sit in my seat. He's not allowed. Okay, so I'm barely gonna put this down, okay? But I am gonna make sure there's no bubbles. <laughs> See how it's coming up? What'd I do with that orange chalk face? 
I see it? Here it is. <laughs> okay. And we had an oopsie earlier. I opened this completely up. Not a very good idea. That was probably too much. We're just having fun. That's all. Did you all see how that was lifting up? That is exactly why I say you can use these things until the wheels fall off. Because that still came out perfect. So, that's another thing you can do. So, we have boo on the front. I messed this up. I will fix that when I don't have chalk paste all over my hands. And then they did the back. And you can like, and then I'll clean this off too. So, tassel could have been a bit longer. But hey, crafting is fun. So this is the, um, I have a lot of extra pace. I will put that, I have orange over here, so I will put that back in there. But it's a little bit at a time. Not a whole lot, because you don't need much. Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> that was the first time that I have used the um, ink, the paste packets. So just tape them up when you're finished. The second time we only snipped a corner. That seemed to work for me. You know, only snipping the corner. Um, I'm not going to lose as much paste when I completely opened it all the way so you will definitely um, not lose your paste this way and tape it up and keep it there is so much paste in this packet I will tell you you will be able to do so many things okay so here's our little tassel this is our finished <clears throat> our finished product and I love it what do you all think what do you think? What do you think? And then we did the back. You can use paint if you want um, for the back, but I was just showing you that you can also use um, the chalk paste as a paint too. And you don't have to use your fingers like I did. I was just being silly. <laughs> so I will clean this up. And again, that is our craft club. I hope that you all uh, enjoyed this. Little tassel, you can put this on a tear tray wherever you would like. Thank you, Grace. I appreciate it. Put this on a tear tray anywhere. You can put this anywhere. You can hang it inside your Halloween Christmas tree over there. I was going to move you, but I'm not going to move you. <laughs> but yeah, hang it in there. Put the paste packet in a Ziploc bag. Okay, put the paste packet in a Ziploc bag. So that's good information. Thank you. Yeah. So, take it from the pro, put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm telling you, I've never used them before. So, all the advice I can get is the best. So, um, <laughs> thank you all so much. Sprinkle the love. And if you're interested in the uh, Magnolia Craft Club, let me know. Send me a direct message. And I will get you all of the information that you need and get you started as soon as possible so that we can do these craft clubs every month together. Have a great one, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.